news, Obama let him in the White House. This is Treason by Al Waisman for FreedomDaily.com. In a few... In a new shocking, but not completely surprising report, which came out early this morning, we can now confirm that the two brother team, Democrat IT aides from the terrorist sympathizing nation of Pakistan made deliberate and unauthorized access to White House servers while actually fooling staff by pretending to be members of Congress. The aides in question are the same which former Democrat Party chairwoman and Florida congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz has been busy defending for over a year now. Imran Awan, his Ukrainian-born wife Ina Alvi, and brothers Jamal and Abid Awan. And to add to this mess, we know... Uh, we now can also confirm, I got flustered, sorry. We now can also confirm that after a lengthy internal investigation, House Democrat leadership lied about their findings to members of Congress as they claimed the incident was solely a matter of theft and not actual espionage, you see. Representative Debbie Blabbermouth Schultz employed the infamous Awan brothers and paid them over $4 million using, uh, during the uh, course of their employment. Some of that amount was actually paid after they were accused of breaching house servers, which can, of course, lead us to surmise that the extra money could have been hush money paid by the Democrat Party in order to hide something they didn't want the public to get hold of. No, I think, uh, no, they didn't pay them hush money, no. The Democrats were selling our information also. They were getting paid. No, 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 no. Via the Daily Caller House uh, report concluded uh, Pakistanis uh, made unauthorized access to congressional servers. Uh, House investigators concluded that Democratic IT aides made unauthorized access to congressional servers in 2016, allegedly accessing the data of members for whom they did not work, logging in as members of Congress themselves and covering their tracks, according to presentation summarizing the findings of a four-month internal probe. Their behavior mirrored a classic method of insiders to exfiltrate data from an organization, and they continued even after orders to stop the briefing materials allege. There are indications that numerous members' data may have had been secretly had been uh, secretly residing not on their designated servers, but instead aggregated onto one server, according to the briefing and other sources. Authorities said the entire server was then physically stolen. When acting on the findings, Democratic leadership appeared to have misrepresented the issue to their own members as solely a matter of theft, a comparison of the investigators' findings with Democrats' recollections and committee public statements show leading 44 Democrats to not conduct protective measures typically taken after a breach, including information uh, constituents uh, whose personal information has been exposed, and a list of the involved members is below. The presentation written by the House's Office of the Inspector General reported under the bold heading Unauthorized Access, the five shared employee system administrators have collectively logged into 15 members' offices and the Democratic Caucus, although they were not employed by the offices they accessed. Uh -huh. Uh, it found indications that a house server is being used for nefarious purposes and elevated the risk that individuals could be reading and or removing information and could be used to store documents taken from other offices. The server was that of the House Democratic Caucus, a sister group of the DNC that was run at the time by then-Representative Xavier Becerra. 
The aides named uh, are Imrana Wan, his wife Ian Alvi, his brothers um, 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 Bede and uh, Jamal and his friend Rao Abbas. Uh, Pakistani born aides. You know, who's going to hire somebody from Pakistan to uh, do IT work? And, uh, you know, this is just so far fetched, it's beyond uh, words. Uh, Pakistan born aides who, who's, uh, aides whose lives are filled with uh, reason for concern, you think maybe? Uh, Bede's Ukrainian wife, Natalia Sova, and Hasib Rana were also involved in the Iwan's activities, but departed the House payroll prior to the investigation. One uh, systems administrator logged into a member's office two months after he was terminated from that office, the investigative summary says. While the rules could have been violated for some innocuous purpose, the presentation indicates that is unlikely. This pattern of uh, login activity suggests Steps are being taken to conceal their activity. A second presentation shows that shortly before the election, their alleged behavior got even worse. During September 2016, shared employee continued to use Democratic caucus computers in anomalous ways, logged, into, logged onto laptop as system administrator, changed identity, and logged uh, onto Democratic caucus server, using 17 other user accounts, credentials, some credentials belong to members. The shared employee did not work for nine of the 17 to which these users' accounts belonged. The investigation found possible storage of sensitive house information outside the house. Drop boxes installed on two caucus computers used by the shared employees. Two user accounts uh, had thousands of files in their Dropbox folder on each computer using Dropbox is against house rules because it uploads files off-site. Isn't that convenient? The Washington Post referenced the presentation in July and quoted a house source who claimed that the server was full of the Awan's children's homework. <laughs> And family photos. The presentation offers reasons to doubt that, really. You know, they must think we're a pack of idiots. I mean, really, let's be real. Let's be honest now. You know, how many months have passed since all this crap took place, right? How many months? And things were, uh, didn't happen. We're still investigating and we're still talking about this. I mean, really? Excuse me? They must think we're a pack of idiots. Uh, you know, in, in general, right? Based on the file name, some of the information is likely sensitive. Really? Likely sensitive? Okay. The statements of numerous Democrats indicate that the Democratic staff of the House Administration Committee and other House officials uh, may have withheld information about cyber security. Again, but they have to write may, you know. Uh, cybersecurity breaches and members who employed the suspects and appear to have misled them about the basic nature of the investigation. This is the first I've heard about this at Missouri Democrat Representative Emanuel Cleaver, who employed almost every member of the Iwan group of cybersecurity issues. So he employed them. He should be arrested. The only thing I'm aware of is that uh, he's uh, being charged with bank fraud. Yeah, that's the real crime here. Democratic Representative uh, Jacqueline Castro, who employed Jamal and his member, and is a member of the Intelligence Committee, that's interesting, told the DCNF, do you have evidence that there's anything more than a bank investigation? If someone's given you a document to that effect, please give it to me. So in other words, this Democratic Jacqueline Castro employed Jamal, but he's a member of the Intelligence Committee, and he doesn't see what's going on? Like I said... In early February, House Sergeant-at-Arms, Paul Irving, Chief Administrative Officer uh, Phil Kiko, and Jamie Fleet, the Democratic Staff Director 
of the Committee of House Administration summoned affected chiefs of staff to a meeting to announce that the family was being banned from the network. Well, finally, right at that time, it took them God knows how long. Republican staff was not present, and the briefers uh, omitted all mention of the cybersecurity component that appears to compromise the most dangerous part of the findings, according to numerous Democrats' account. You see? So not only they're talking about, they're not talking about cybersecurity, they're talking only about bank fraud. On February 3rd, 2017, Committee on the House Administration uh, Chairman Greg Harper and Ranking uh, Member Robert Brady issued the sole official statement about what they call the ongoing House theft investigation. House officials became aware of suspicious activity and alleged theft committed by certain House IT support staff. The statement read, An internal investigation determined that a number of House policies and procedures have been violated. The in this information was turned over to the United States Capitol Police, and their investigation is ongoing. These employees have also been blocked from accessing House systems. Yeah, right, after months all offices impacted have been contacted. No further comment will be issued. And on and on. Jesus Christ, how long does this go on? Let's get to the point. Here she threatens them. He, she threatened the police chief. The caucus uh, chief of staff where Wasserman Schultz threatened him that there be consequences. Uh, so the bottom line, let's hope. Since there is proof now, we can finally put this case to rest and people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz can make themselves comfortable in a prison cell for years to come. But as we have come to expect out of our judicial system, that most certainly won't be happening anytime soon. Yes, we know all too well by now that if you have money and the right connections, you are above the law, especially if you are well-meaning um, well liberal. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, come on. I mean, come on now. I mean, this is getting sickening at this point. Right or wrong, guys? I mean, really? You know? And the only thing they... All right, they got them on bank fraud. What did they do about that? Did they do anything? No news about it. You see, they're keeping us in the dark. Keeping us in the dark. Here, they, they, they got information. They got information. They got all this information, and the guy was still on the computers. He was still on the computers. He didn't get fired from Wasserman Schultz till the day they arrested him. I mean, really? And then she was threatening the Capitol Police. Why is this not investigated by the FBI? I don't know, higher-ups, uh, you know, uh, the feds. Why? And you, you let you let this guy, you know, just on bank fraud and he's walking around. No, this is all planned. And uh, the thing is that Wasserman Schultz knew about this. And, uh, and that's why Hillary Clinton's emails. Hillary was getting paid to destroy this country. She was getting payments and info she was sending out on those emails that had to do, she was selling the secrets out to our, uh, to Pakistani, these people. She hired them to take the secrets. You think these people worked alone? Who were they hired for? Obama had them in the, in the office there. He had them there. Sure, it's treason, it, but it's not only Obama. It's, uh, it's Hillary too. Because if you see Wasserman Schultz, they go hand in hand. Wasserman Schultz and Hillary Clinton, they go hand in hand. And then you you attach Obama with the Hillary and the uh, the the IT workers, right? You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together. And yet we don't have any investigations. No, and 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 the liberal idiots. You know what they're concerned about? Let's check out and see if. Donald Trump is mentally stable. That's the big problem. And if he called Haiti a crap hole country, that's the biggest problem that we have, right? That's why, that's why they, 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 the Democrats want idiots such as them. They want, they couldn't get ahead if they didn't have morons just like the idiots on the, the liberal left, the leftists, yeah. 
Let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.